Thank you, Gemma. Hello and welcome to Sports News. Bielsa Queens have qualified for the final of the Nigeria Women's Premier League Super 4 tournament in Lagos. Bielsa Queens defeated Sunshine Queens 1-0, courtesy of a charity Ruben strike in the 44th minute. Title holders Nasarawam Amazons also progressed to the final after edging Rivers Angels 5-3 via penalties after the tense encounter ended 1-0 at regulation time. The final will hold on Sunday and the winner will be crowned champions of the women elite division. Nigerian striker Victor Moses has completed his loan move to Turkish club Fenerbahce and Moses signed an 18-month loan deal after arriving in Istanbul on Wednesday. The 28-year-old has been restricted to five appearances this season, with his only start coming in September, EFL Cup win at Liverpool. Since joining Chelsea, Moses has had loan spells at Liverpool, Stoke City and West Ham United. He'll be hoping to boost the team's place in the league position. And in tennis, world number one Novak Djokovic has booked his place in the final of the Australian Open. Djokovic advanced after beating French man Lucas Poole, 6 love, 6 2, 6 2, in a one sided semi final in Melbourne. He'll face Spain's Rafa Nadal in the final on Sunday. Where we leave it on Sports News, the News at 10 continues with Ijoma. Thanks a lot, Ulumide. U.S. President Donald Trump has endorsed the deal to reopen the U.S. government for three weeks after a record-breaking shutdown of federal agencies. Speaking at the White House Rose Garden, Trump affirmed that the agreement would fund the government until February the 15th, while bipartisan lawmakers will work on border security issues. He also said federal workers affected by the political imbroglio, who he called incredible patriots, would receive full back pay. Congressional sources say the pact does not include any money that Mr. Trump has demanded for the U.S.-Mexico border wall. Immigration laws all over the world, they've been there for a long time, are the laughing stock all over the world. We do not have the necessary space or resources to detain, house, vet, screen, and safely process this tremendous influx of people. In short, we do not have control over who is entering our country, where they come from, who they are, why they are coming. The result for many years is a colossal danger to public safety. We're going to straighten it out. It's not hard. It's easy if given the resources. Let's look at some entertainment news for the day. Maya Wagundele walks us through. Many thanks. On entertainment news tonight, singer Danny Young appears to have scored a major point against making record song stress to a savage in his copyright battle with her as the video for the song in contention has been pulled down from online video portal YouTube as a result of his petition on the matter. A few weeks ago, Danny Young called out the MTV Europe Award winner for sampling a line from his 2009 song, Uju Timo, on her latest track, One. While speaking to Entertainment News via telephone on Thursday, Young revealed he was forced to take legal action against Savage because he was snubbed after reaching out to her. We also reached out to Savage's camp for comments, but they declined. Sunday Style Plus, the breakaway member of the boy band Style Plus, is rebooting his solo career under the alias Tune T. -Dot.
although he admits the success of the group, which rose to fame in the early 2000s, continues to overshadow his efforts. In an interview with Entertainment News, Tony Tidolf also revealed he will also be coming back to the industry as an actor as he stars in a forthcoming musical set for release in a few weeks. Other films, as well as a music album, are also in the pipeline. That's it from me tonight. Thanks for watching. The rest of the news continues. Thanks a lot, Marwa. And the main news again. President Muhammad Buhari today suspended the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Onoge, following an order by the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The President also swore in Justice Ibrahim Tanku Muhammad as the Acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. Also today, the FCT High Court set up a panel to review the trial of former National Security Advisor Colonel Sambo Dasuki with a view to resolving the dilemma arising from the case. Uh, U.S. President today announced a deal to end the government shutdown that's lasted over a month as House Democrats rejected the proposal. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahbunyato. Do have a great weekend. Good night.